Buying an old master drawing is really like buying any other object, whether it be a car, a house, or anything. And really the tips that I'm going to give you are you approach it in a similar way. Um, first of all, you basically buy what you like. I mean, I, I'm not a car person, but I know what I like, and, and I have some experience in some cars. Um, so I think that's a key thing, and I'm going to use this car analogy. You go to a respectable dealer or an auction house, that would be number two. Number three would be to drill down, you look under the bonnet. You, know, you look under, you, you take the drawing out of the frame. Most of my drawings, 95%, have spring clips on them. You can take them out. They're not, this is not a problem. Pastels is a bit of a problem, as we were talking earlier. But for these, they're not. And actually, it, you make that connection. Hi, do you come on up? We've literally only just started. <laughs> um, so really, um, you just, you, you, you drill, the, you, you know, dealers are very happy to do that. It's not a problem. Um, and uh, the other thing is also is you get uh, another, another friend. If you buy, you're buying something, you get another friend. Or if I'm buying a car, you maybe get buying a second-hand car, get someone to, do, to do, give an opinion on it. And there are people in the trade who, who, who you can pay. Um, or a friend, give you an opinion. I mean, if you want a professional opinion, there are plenty of people out there. Um, I would look at the trade, the trade bodies. There's uh, SLAD, uh, Lepada, BADA. I mean, these acronyms may, need, may not mean anything to you, but they are actually very good. I'm a member of Lepada, I've just started recently, and there's a trade of conduct, and, there, and, and there's a you know, recourse if you're not happy with something. So get advice if you're not sure. Um, now, when you actually look at, look at a drawing, I would say, you know, you, you, now this is subjective, you know, what, what, what is the quality like, is it, is it good? Now these are, just, these are comments and decisions which are open to discussion and argument, and I find is one which is very, very interesting in the field. There's, there's no sort of, um, there's no definitive answer. Um, but you can ask people, say, why is it good? Why is it said you know, why, why are you asking this sort of price on it? Um, and then, you know, your, your job perhaps is to ask the dealer awkward questions and the auction house, and their job is to answer them. So don't be afraid of asking them, asking them what guarantee they, they, they provide when they sell a picture, what research have they done. Um, you know, these are questions which uh, certainly the, the, the dealer will have asked himself and, and the auction house will have asked himself, so there's no reason why you shouldn't ask them. Hi. Uh, so, um, and then you can ask things like, how sound is the research on, on the actual object? It's not a, it's not a problem. Um, 